Today is the second day of Advent. Yesterday was the first Advent Sunday, which is the day when Christians traditionally light the candle of hope, which I will do right now with you, if I can. <laughs> okay. So the candle of hope. Right. So nice to light it with you. Advent represents our expectation, anticipation, and preparation for Christmas. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The Virgin will be with the child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. With our now traditional Advent concert at St. Paul's Church, we would like to contribute to our friends' joyful Advent preparations. Today we also celebrate the highly eventful and successful year of the Hungarian Culture Center in 2014, as well as the winner of our award for Hungarian Culture in the UK 2014, which will shortly be presented by our guest of honor, Lady Valeri Scholti. Before the announcement of the winner, and the presentation of the award, let me briefly remind ourselves of some highlights of the Hungarian Cultural Center in 2014. Three major anniversaries shaped our programming this year. The centenary of World War I, the Holocaust Memorial Year in Hungary, and the 15th anniversary of the Hungarian Cultural Center's opening its doors in Covent Garden. We remembered these anniversaries with a fantastic lineup of events and invention internationally renowned artists, musicians, and experts appreciated in a company of our long-standing friends and supporters, as well as many new ones. We also continued our highly successful regular events such as the Modjor Mind Open Lecture Series, the Monday Music Soirees, and the Jazz Thursday, which was actually on Friday last week. We started some new projects and series. The one I'm most proud of is the Hungarian Students' College, Londoni Magyar Szakkollegium, in collaborations with the Hungarian societies of such well-known UK universities as Imperial College, LSE, King's College, SOAS, and UCL. Our collaborations do not stop here, though. And just to illustrate the extent of our partnership, let me list some of the organisations we work together this year. Unique London, the British Council, the South Bank Centre, Barbican Centre, and the cultural institutes and embassies of the Visegrad countries, among many others. You will be able to find more detailed information about the most memorable moments in our tonight's programme booklet. And if you would like to know what is in store for early 2015 at the Hungarian Culture Center, please look into our January-March events brochure, which you also have. Now on the award. On 22nd January 2014, the National Day of Hungarian Culture, we announced our award for Hungarian Culture in the UK for the third time for non-profit Hungarian cultural and or educational organizations operating in the United Kingdom. The aim of the award is to recognize, appreciate and support the outstanding work of these organizations to preserve and promote Hungarian language, culture and heritage in the United Kingdom. The call requires applying organizations to present the work they have done for the Hungarian community during the year of 2014 and to outline their 2015 plan in detail, including how they would make the best of use of the thousand pound issued by the Hungarian Culture Center with the award. Previous winners of the award include the Hungarian Culture Association Guildford in 2012, the LMI Plus Hungarian School in London in 2013. The panel of judges has included Mátyá Sárközi, the prominent Hungarian writer and publicist living in London, myself as the founder of the award and the team of the Hungarian Culture Centre.
The judges' deliberation, deliber deliberation was long and hard. All the eight organizations who submitted their application for the award would really deserve to win, given the outstanding work they have all been carrying out for the preservation, promotion, and nurturing of Hungarian culture and heritage in the UK. All of them reach out of the new generation of Hungarians, especially to young Hungarian families. The eight organizations who submitted their application for the award 2014 include the following in alphabetical order. ARCME, Roman Catholic Hungarians Association in England, Hungarian Cultural, Culture and Heritage Society, Hungarian School St. Albans, Hungarian School Walking, London Hungarian Symphony Orchestra, Moshoi Hungarian Families Group, of, Group London, Oxford Hungarian Society, Reading Hungarian Community Association. Before announcing the winning organization, I would like to congratulate to everyone for their wonderful work and effort and to encourage everyone to carry on good work they have been doing. Now, may I invite Lady Valerie Shorty to come forward to announce the name of the winning organization and to present them with the award. Lady Valerie Shorty. I can give thanksgiving tonight because this is the Actors' Church. I started my life as an actor and of course my husband was a musician and my two daughters, our two Schulte daughters, were christened in this wonderful church. So I feel very much at home here. Also, I have to give thanksgiving for the Hungarian culture for everything that Hungary has brought into my life. It might have had a slightly inauspicious beginning because when I told my father I'd fallen in love with a Hungarian, a whole lot of alarm bells went off <laughs> because in 1956, he was part of the uh, committee uh, for w the West Riding of Yorkshire who were finding funds and housing for the 1956 refugees who came over and he would give them their grant and then a week later they'd come back and say we have no more money and he said but I've given you the money but what he didn't understand and nobody understood was of course the situation at home was so difficult for the refugees that the moment they had any money they sent it back to help their families in Hungary and their families in Hungary so that was one association but also the Hungarian culture. What a rich culture it is. As a child, I used to have a stamp album and there were these wonderful stamps. So what I knew about Hungary were just these wonderful stamps. But then when I went there and saw the amazing paintings, the ancient paintings, the modern paintings, the Hungarian impressionists, uh, Ripul Ronai and Munkachi, and Sherme uh, Merse, and of course all the modern ones as well, and the, the, the breadth of the, of the music. And of course one mustn't forget the culinary attributes of Hungary, how extraordinary it is. And it is such an extraordinary culture, such an ancient culture. And George Schulte used to say that in his life, he struggled on when he was uh, not able to work, really, until he was 34, because he never gave up. And I think that is a quality of Hungary as a nation and its culture, that it never goes up, it gives up, it goes on growing. And that has enhanced British life, and I'm a great example of that, of how much Hungary has given to me and really to my soul. Now we come to the award, very deserved it is. The winning organization has achieved all the requirements to the highest standards. It's reached out to hundreds of people in the Hungarian community here in Britain and to other communities within the UK. They've formed partnerships with other Hungarian organizations and show great potential for the future. The organization has solid plans 
to continue to grow and reach out to more and more people in the UK's diverse communities in the years ahead. In 2015, they'll be extending its folk dance program of events for children, and they'll carry on with the family day. And then, <clears throat> for the older generation of Hungarians who came here in 1956, there will be a commemorative event to establish a Hungarian library, and very important, to increase its sports events. And so therefore, the Hungarian Cultural Centre's award for 2014 goes to the Hungarian Culture and Heritage Society. So important, very important. We must all keep our own national traditions because we're global citizens and we're part of Europe, but it's very important that our strength is also in what we remember of our own culture as well. It's Thank wonderful. You. We should all join in it together. Thank you so much for this amazing award. We are so happy, overwhelmed, and it's hard to say um, what we're feeling, but um, the most important thing that we are really proud that we, were, we had the opportunity to apply for this award, and uh, we were able to achieve all the requirements, and um, we just enjoy what we do. Uh, we've been working hard for many years now to, to raise this level and uh, looking forward to next year and looking forward to the future and carry on what we do. Um, basically, the Hungarian Cultural and Heritage Society and the Unique Dance Group are really pleased and thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, Lady Valerie Shorty. Finally, I would like also to express my gratitude to the dedicated, dynamic, and creative team of the Hungarian Culture Center, who I have always found a great pleasure to work with, and they are outside and upstairs and at the back, they are serving over there, so thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now begin our Advent concert with the marvelous joyful company of singers who are set to put us all in a festive mood with English and Hungarian Christmas carols. Please feel free to join in when the conductor Peter Broadman gives us the sign. Thank you very much.